Just call me Hat Guy. That's the name I use in Vahumana. That sounds like a nickname, not a real name. So I can't go by a simple, ordinary name? You could be Matra for all I care. So what if I don't answer you? What then? Uh, you! <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I have an agreement with someone not to reveal my motives. You're not plotting something in secret, are you? Well, it's hard to say. Why don't you take a guess? Ugh, Paimon's had it with you! Fine, be that way. Then we won't ask you why you're participating. Instead, uh, why did you join Vahumana? You two sure like to poke your noses where they don't belong. If I don't say anything, are you going to annoy me to death? <sighs> I heard that the Vahumana researcher named Akaba was researching the Tatarasuna incident, so I wrote a few essays to refute his points. Later, when I was bored, I wrote some commentary on societal issues in Inazuma. I didn't expect Vahumana to consider me as one of them. <laughs> Someone even invited me to a lecture or whatever. From start to finish, it was just the wishful thinking of idiots. A misunderstanding. There's your answer. Simple. But when Lesser Lord Kusanali heard about this, she went out of her way to get me registered in Vahumana. She used the name Hat Guy. Enough chit-chat. You're better off wasting your time with the other contestants. Someone's about to get very unlucky. Wanna guess who? How is anyone supposed to relax with you around? <sighs> We've gotta stay alert and keep a close eye on him. Looks like Karina's got a moment now. Let's go chat with her. Let's roll!
Let's roll! Guest commentators Vikas invited. I've heard about you. I saw you two having quite the lively conversation, so I thought it would be best to wait. Are you two free right now? We were actually looking for you, too! Excellent! Then please allow me to explain your job responsibilities in detail. First, please take these two things. The first item is a custom camera from the Academia. Please use it to record the competition as it unfolds. The second is an event-specific locator that will flag all participants' locations. It will also sound when one of them completes an objective. Wow! What a convenient little thing! Aside from you two, there are two other commentators. However, they will remain by the commentators' area and will not be following the contestants in real time. Speaking of which, you probably know them. I'll hate them and Nilu. Oh, it's them! We have to go over and say hi later. Well, don't let me keep you, unless you have any questions for me. Hmm? Why do you ask? Really? I didn't see any such person. Could I ask when you saw him? Strange. I was on stage the entire time and I didn't see anyone come up. Perhaps you're mistaken. However, if you have any leads on that matter, you can talk to me at any time. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Long time no see. two friends of yours. In that case, I'll take my leave. May you all have a wonderful time during the extravaganza. The Academia sent us both invitations, so Dia suggested that we come together. The villagers were also encouraging me to travel outside the village. I couldn't find it in myself to turn them down. We're here now, so no point dwelling on that. Even though this extravaganza isn't a holiday or anything, it's still a big deal here in Sumeru. Merchants from all over will set up shop. There'll be tons of stuff to eat, use, and wear, more than you can count. I'm already set on helping you buy two new outfits. I mean, who wears the same thing at work and home anyway? I'm looking forward to it. 
just being able to relax and wander the streets freely has already made my day. So, Traveler, Paimon, you two want to come with? Uh, we'd love to, but we've got work to do right now. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Let's hang out together when you're free, then. In that case, Candace and I will head out first. Good clothing and fabrics are very much in demand. If you snooze, you lose. Oh, right. We should also get some accessories. No need to rush. I think we'll have a better time if we take things slow. See you two later. Feel free to come find us whenever you have the time. Hyman didn't think that Candace and Dia would come. Hanging out with them sounds like a great time. Still, looks like the competition's starting soon. Let's go over to where all Haytham is and see what's going on. Arataki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> Let's roll. Stay put. Go, go, Berry Bunny. Jumpy, dumpty, go. Step aside, Ito's back in town. You're calling for me? Come... Let's roll! Swallow. Boy! Uh. 
<clears throat> I will now announce the rules for the first round of the competition. Please listen carefully. During the opening ceremony, Academia staff released several cages of butterflies, and many of them are now fluttering within Sumeru City. Amongst these butterflies, three of them will be special swift flies. They have a different appearance and also fly a little faster. Your objective this round is to find a swift fly and bring it to me. Three points will be awarded to the first participant to return, two to the second, and one point to the third. That is all for the first round. Should you require clarification on anything, please ask any of the other staff. Oh, hey, Fem's all business all the time, huh? Hmm. That said, how did he get picked to be a commentator? Paimon's kind of curious. Finding three specific butterflies in a place as large as Sumeru City sounds rather improbable. Hmm, if these swift flies behave anything like regular butterflies... I'm off. It will take some time to search every corner of Sumeru City. Huh? You're going just like that? A champion walks the road to victory. <laughs> My dear Kasharawar Jr., I have a plan. How about some cooperation between you and me? Cooperation? Looks like everyone's got their own plans for this, Tuffy. We're supposed to go on stage next, right? Uh, let's wait and see everyone's reactions first. Huh? Wait a minute. Look, he seems to be observing the other contestants just like we are. <laughs> we were right not to let our guard down! Do you remember those things we made previously? Huh? You mean... It's time for them to shine. It looks like Farazan and Kave have some secret plan. Oh, hello there. Madam Faruzan and I are discussing how... Shh! Hush now! The walls have ears around here. We should keep it a secret for now. But you'll find out what we have in store soon enough. Come now, let's go. Before the others act. Alright, there's no time to lose. We're off to make our preparations. See you later. Hmm. This is basically what I'll need. Do you think you'll have any difficulties? I have most of the reagents with me, and I can buy the rest. Kale, you're here too! Um, Kainari, you have a master 
your plan ready? My hypothesis is that the Swift Fly's morphological variations won't significantly affect their fundamental nature. So I'm planning on using this to lure them out. Of course, I could be wrong. Every mutation opens the door to new possibilities, especially when they are artificially introduced. Details will have to wait until after the post-experimental analysis. For now, Kale and I are going to buy some reagents for our experiment. All right, well, uh, see you later. I should do. What color are these swift flies? Do they have special markings? How do they differ from ordinary butterflies? Oh, I can't even figure out these basic questions and most of what I've learned in the past is completely useless here. Aren't people who research the star supposed to have some extraordinary abilities? Why not use astrology to solve it? Oh, you're another contestant. A hat guy, was it? Is it that you can't use astrology during the day? <laughs> Guess that skill's less useful than I thought. No, it's not like that. If it's daytime, all I need is an astrolabe. So, why don't you do that then? Mona Magistus, the astrologist, said that those who constantly use astrology to obtain things that shouldn't be theirs will eventually lose the blessing from the stars. Ahem, it's just something I read in an academic publication. Uh, I really love to read Mona's essays. You're overthinking it. Power is just a tool. It just seems to me that you don't have the resolve to win this. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> Wallow in your immature ideals if you like. Hey! Seriously? Just walking off after saying a bunch of mean stuff like that? Um... Did I say something wrong just now? Uh, thank you so much. I've made up my mind not to use astrology for this. I think I'll just try my luck in the city. Uh, to be honest, I've always been pretty good at observation, and if I'm fortunate, I might be able to find that special butterfly species. Lord Sino seems to have found a swift fly. Come on, let's go check it out. Really? Where? The butterfly flew up high, and he's chasing it now! Uh, 
Oh, no time to lose. Let's go see! Ah, as expected of Sino. Ah, actually, shouldn't you two go have a look as well? The moment when he catches the butterfly will likely be one worth recording after all. I'll head into the city shortly to start my own search. I'll see you later. Alright. In that case, let's go see Sino first. And then we can check on what everyone else is up to. Let's roll! The doctor will see you now. Mind the side effects. Boy! Better pill to swallow.
Let's roll! Mind the side effect. Stay put. Don't move. Uh, he caught it! Huh? Sino, what's wrong? This isn't what I'm looking for. It's a... <sighs> Finally, I made it. I heard that you caught a swift fly, Sino. Mind letting me see what it looks like? Uh, hold on. Isn't this the mechanical bait that I released earlier? Why would you catch that instead of a swift fly? Wait a minute. If we consider this from a different angle, isn't it a good thing that the bait you made was convincing enough to fool even Sino? That's right. During a previous interior design project, I felt that the artificial flowers on a wall were a little bland, so I decided on placing a few moving mechanical butterflies to add some pizzazz. In order to make them both small and nimble, I consulted with Madame Faruzan. Not long ago, the two of us took all those mechanical butterflies and released them into the city. Why would you do that? <laughs> need you even ask? Young people these days really do need to get out more. play that game where you play strips of paper on a bamboo pole and wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole kaleidoscope of butterflies? No, I haven't. Wait, so you're trying to... That's right. The butterflies within the city will mistake our mechanical bait for one of their own and follow them around. As long as we keep releasing and retrieving our bait, we can capture all the butterflies within the city. What comes afterward is just a matter of separating the swift flies from the others. Huh. Guess that's one way to do it. Do not underestimate the wisdom of your elders. I had already thought of this method the moment the round's rules were announced. Of course, we also owe much to this fine junior of mine here for making such lifelike butterflies. It seems that Kasharawar has not quite declined as far as I had thought in recent years. Their teaching skills at least seem to be intact. Well, I just stuck to what I do best. The idea was yours. Ah, no need to be so polite. Once we capture all these butterflies, we shall split the points for this round. Look, one of them is returning now. Huh? Wait a moment. Are my eyes deceiving me? Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? That's because there are none. Seems like your plan has hit a snag. Looks like the match continues. I'll be looking elsewhere. Huh. 
strange. Has something else diverted their attention? Come, let's search in the direction the bait returned from. We'll go have a look too. Let's roll! Bitter pill to swallow. Atta boy! With all my strength! Yeah, tough. Mind the side effects. Side effects. the Morta boy. Tainari! Fascinating, isn't it? The butterflies have all congregated here due to a special incense that I used. I infused it with three different types of honey, and the butterflies, following the fragrance, have gathered around me. Oh, butterflies must have really sharp noses then! <sighs> Wait, do they even have noses? <sighs> I've never seen one. They do not, in fact, and their vision isn't stellar, either. However, they can use their antennae to distinguish between scents, and their olfactory senses are generally quite advanced, allowing them to detect floral fragrances from great distances. Oh, so that's how it is. <sighs> I had a pet butterfly once. I picked wildflowers and placed them in its box, but it wouldn't eat any. That's normal. Raising butterflies isn't difficult, but there are many things you should take note of. Appropriate temperature, sufficient air, and a spacious environment are examples of such considerations. You must also ensure that the food you've chosen suits their palate. Most importantly, you must curb your curiosity and avoid disturbing them while they rest. Otherwise, they may become stressed. 
Ah, uh, sorry. I liked to poke at its wings at the time. Uh, humans tend to rear many creatures due to their aesthetic value, but not all are suited to such a process. Caring for living beings is hard work. Impulse alone is insufficient. Some prerequisite knowledge is always required. You sure do know a lot! Uh, I have a question too. I bought a scarab not long ago and it hasn't seemed very active. Can you help me figure out why? I'd like to keep a dust bird as a pet. What are some key points I should consider? Um, is it possible to keep a rich and tiger as a pet? All right, it seems like you all have a great deal of questions. <laughs> But I am in the middle of the Interdarshan Championship at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't answer them all now. Let me propose an alternative. Next month, there will be a biology lecture at Gandharvaville, and I will be sharing some interesting insights on living organisms there. If you're interested, you can attend that lecture, and if you should have any questions, just prepare them ahead of time. I'll answer questions after I've finished speaking. Uh, all right! I'll be there! Of course, please try to ask more... rational questions. For example, whether you can raise a Rishpalin tiger as a pet or not is mainly dependent on whether you can overcome one in a fight. Looks like Tainari's science lecture will draw quite a crowd! Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Was I listening in for that long? Seems Kale's master does live up to his title as a teacher. Madam Farozan, I've had a look around. Nearly all the butterflies in this area have been attracted by the incense. However, we can cast our bait further away to avoid this area. Then let's get moving. We shan't let all the butterflies get away from us if we can help it. Seems like the competition's really heating up. Let's go see how the other contestants are doing.
Let's roll!